שלום עליכם. We are in פרשת שמיני, with the help of Hashem, and I want to give you some Kabbalistic inspiration from the Holy Zohar. So the Zohar in page Lamed Chet 38a says, רבי יהודה פתח ויהי ביום השמיני, בתר דשתלים מהארון בשבעה יומין, נעתר בו יום התמנה בא אל אשתלמה מן שבעה. What is the eighth day that the Torah is talking about? After seven days of מילואים, that is coming for training of Aaron in his hands. And then the eighth day is the practice of the training that they get, went through for this whole week. Says the Zohar, that eighth day, there is a purpose for the, for the work that they did, for their own atonement. How is that so? Says the Zohar, that Kana Kana Lahu Dechav Bekadmita, whatever they were obligated from before. And what is that? Ad Ahud Echtiv, Ve'omer El Aaron, Kach Lecha Egel. Hashem told Aaron to take a calf, which is Tikkun, for the sin of the golden calf that Aaron had a part of, unfortunately. And this is a very, very important concept for us, that we want to do the tikkun for whatever is the wrong things that we did. It's not immediately. We need to prepare ourselves, like Aaron. He had seven days of preparation to get to the eighth day of the Tikkun. Now the Zohar is giving us a parable for the process that was taking place there. Okay? And the parable is that there was a king that somebody sent a present to that king. And he saw that he needs to receive Um, he needs to receive the, the, the king to come back to him. Okay? So, again, what is the purpose of the tikkun? To reconnect with the king. Okay? And this is something that we need to apply in our life. Okay? First of all is the conscious, to be conscious of the situation. What is the situation right now? To know what is the things that we did and how those things affected us. And then when we know when, what is the place where we at in our spiritual being, then from there we can progress one step after the other. Okay? I'm not saying that it's not possible to jump over steps, but usually it's not the case. Usually we need to take it one step after the other. Sometimes Hashem is giving someone a special present to progress a big achievements in his spiritual life. Like it is also in the physical life, somebody that wants to build a business. So usually it grows gradually. Sometimes Hashem is sending a blessing and it can, like this, they call it explode to become to be big very quickly. But usually it's not the case. So I'm talking about the normal procedure of spiritual growth. We need to, first of all, know our starting point. What is it that we need to do Tikkun for? And to walk our way to do the preparation that is needed to get to that point, to do the Tikkun, And then we are one step higher. And then we need to reevaluate what is the priority, what is the next step, and so on and so forth. Every time, with the help of Hashem, to go forward. Now, what is, that perp- what is the purpose of that sacrifice that Aaron did? Again, the atonement to purify that level. So, golden calf, so you need to give a calf 
as a sacrifice. Okay? And that's another point of understanding that is called Chuvata Mishkal. Like you have weight that you need to weight it and to find the balance of whatever is the part that broke down, the Kilkul, the Sin, that, it w- that the Tikkun will be fitting to that level. Okay? And that's something that is really difficult for us to evaluate. And that's why the Rizal gave us a whole system of how to evaluate what is the value of the sins, meaning how many days of fast a person needs to do to do the tikkun of those sins. And now, many people that are converting the fasting in giving tzaka, so that will be the amount of zakah that is needed. So now, people, it's very hard for them sometimes to think about those numbers, to do this calculation. Um, imagine yourself that Bezrat uh, Hashem soon, we have the Beda Mikdash, and everybody will have to bring sacrifices to every, every, every sin that the person does, which purposely, he brings the Hashem, and if it is busy mistake, he's bringing Hadat. And so, to buy a, a, a lamb, for example, as far as I know, today is about at least a thousand shekels, if not two thousand shekels, to buy a lamb. So every time somebody is doing a sin, brings a lamb, one, two thousand shekels, something like that, if he needs to bring a calf like Aaron, that's, that can be like three, four, five thousand shekels, I don't know. So, so, as much as it is difficult for us to think about those numbers for something like that, it is the same thing also when Bezrat Hashem soon, we're going to have the Beda Mikdash. <coughs> Anyhow, the point of the matter is that when we see, for example, here in the parasha, the calf that Aaron gave, we should think what is that connected to, right? So here the Zohar is giving us that example of the golden calf, right? Now, the same way the Zohar continues to speak about the the male sheep that was found by Abraham and he sacrificed that sheep instead of Yitzchak, right? So that, that uh, sheep that got sacrificed by Avraham Avinu. What is the connection of that to here? So the Zohar, that you have the, the Ail, which is the male sheep, and you have the Egel, the calf. And when Avraham Avinu so the, the male sheep, he brought it to be sacrifice of Ola. What is the special quality of Ola? That it is all burned. Okay, other sacrifices, so the owners eat some part of the meat, the Kohanim eat some part of the meat, but Koban Ola is all sacrifice, all burned to Hashem. And that was the offering that Avraham Avinu did with the Korban of the Isle. And what is the purpose there? Says the Zohar, that he was sweetening their judgments. Okay? And that's something that is a principle for all of the sacrifices. And not only the sacrifices, the same thing, like I said before, about the Tikkunim. That the purpose of all of this trail of work is to sweeten their judgments. Abtakata dinim. Because whenever someone is doing something wrong, is creating judgments. And whenever we are doing tikkun or we bring sacrifice, we are sweetening those judgments that it will not activate the system of the punishments. Okay? When when there is a judgment that is not sweetened, I give the example of like a spring that is tight and it can open up and make damage if, if you don't 
release it gradually in control, it can jump in on someone's eye, for example, God forbid, something like that. So it can create damage when it explodes in a place and time that is, that is uh, unexpected. <coughs> so this is part of the understanding of the sacrifices of the Tikkunim and obviously there's a lot, a lot to speak about those matters um, and extend the understanding there but we'll hold it here for this week and I'm sending you a big bracha that Hashem will help all of us to do all of the Tikkunim that we need to do and to sweeten all of the judgments and to have a very, very sweet and blessed life Bezrat Hashem Thank you very much and please share it with your friends and family all around. Thank you.